Hello one and all, welcome to Seeing Through Glass. Welcome back to STG HQ. Now recently, lots of you have been asking, what's going on with Project Biposto? My plan is to turn this Abarth 595 Competizione into a, an OEM looking, Biposto inspired, lightweight track monster. Well, I'll be honest, because of the latest UK lockdown and endless COVID restrictions ever since I bought this car, not a lot is happening. Everything's kind of on hold, on pause, which is insanely frustrating because by this point, I would have hoped to have you know, done some work on the suspension, maybe increased performance, changed the looks. Can't really do any of that. I can't even start planning the first track days in early spring because I don't know if they're going to be possible. So in my darkest days, I've even considered selling this car and waiting until doing a project car is a little bit more feasible. But I thought, hold on a sec, no, let's not give up. Surely there are some jobs that I can do on this car myself. And, and I can hear some of you laughing because if you've watched this channel for longer than a day, you know that I don't often work on my cars myself, which I'm a bit embarrassed about. And I think, you know what, we should change that. So yes, today I'm going to be kickstarting Project Riposto all by myself. So this is a Biposto rear seat delete kit from MS Racing because of course the original 695 Biposto that I used to own had no rear seats to help it reduce weight and I want this car to be light as well as having increased performance. So yes, today I'm going to be fitting this. I just have no clue how to do that. I have no idea how to remove the existing seat. So it's, it's going to be an experience but we're going to do it somehow and a 3 8 inch socket wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. So let's fold down these rear seats real quick. Who needs tools? Fingers. Now, if I've done this correctly, the back of the seat should just pop straight out. I've taken the two bolts off either side and the central bolt. Wish, wish me luck. Well, they're off, but they're conjoined. Doesn't feel right. So look, I definitely, I definitely should have removed this part here somewhere because when I lift them, they're still together. So I feel like that should have, that should have come off. So I've done something wrong. I'm stuck. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, out of the car, sir. Oh, they're free. Next job is harder for you guys to see, but there are two bolts down here in front of the, or at the bottom of the seats, um, which I have to say are harder to access as well. There he goes. Should now be another relatively straightforward pull out. Um, let me just, just try to push the seat belts. There we go. Hey! Rear seat's gone! Woohoo! Oh no! Oh, he's dro <laughs> I've dropped a bit in the car. Oh, what a disaster. Maybe let's get this out of the way for now. Oh, should have gone to the gym. There we go. Bloody hell. Oh, he's done it again. What a knob. Understandably, the seatbelt part's done rather tight. Of all the bolts so far, they've been the tightest, which I guess is a good thing. I guess that's what you want, right? From your safety, safety belts. And another bit gone. So that's pretty much the rear seats gone. I just want to get rid of these seat belts and then these brackets as well for the, um, oh my God, what have I gone mad? The cover for the boot. Ah, put the, oh my God, brain fade. It's, it's cold in here, we'll blame that. So yes, yeah, so I think try and get rid of these because I don't want the seat belts flapping around back here uh, once the new kit's installed. So I think that's the next step. So this is definitely a bit more of an investigation. I'm not entirely sure. We're going to have to get some, rid of some of this trim, I think. This part here, oh, there you go. Look, there's a little, okay, Phillips screwdriver for these. And then I guess we're going to have to pull some of this trim back to be able to get into the seatbelt housing. You can see there, this is quite an obvious bolt to release the bottom. 
but if you don't take it out of here, it's just going to flap around at the top. So, okay, let's get to work. Now, in all the guides, it says when you start to remove trim, you do have to be quite forceful. But obviously, it's where I'm most nervous because I don't want to break anything. I've undone that screw there now. It does look like this bit wants to kind of come away, but as I say, I want to make... Oh, there we go. I don't want to force anything. Oh! Oh! It's such a terrifyingly nerve-wracking moment when you do that. It, it's fine, that's how it's supposed to happen, but it's not that much fun. And I haven't actually... Oh, I need to do this bolt down here, don't I? Let's do that. There we go. Okay, seatbelt is loose. Now, can you see in here, actually if I pull this back, it might... See, that's got to come off, this buckle's got to come off, and these are quite hard to, to access, and then actually the actual mechanism bolt is right up like in the back there, so that's going to be quite hard to access as well. Um, but we need to do it, so let's get cracking. I hate you. You were, that was awful. I hate you. Ah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Just needed to slide it up slightly. And I think he says that should mean that the seatbelt can, where is it? It's all tangled up in trim. Oh, there we go. Okay, look at that. Seatbelt, free. Oh, my back is killing me. I'm taking a time out because I feel like I got to a pretty good stage. I think I've removed all the bits. I don't want the brackets, the seat belts, the seats themselves. And now it's a matter of fitting the Biposto kit. It feels intense. And as I say, once it's done and if the car doesn't fall apart the minute I drive it out the door, then, then I'll be pretty, pretty happy. But things I'm realizing is that it is quite intense. You know, I'm sure the more you do this kind of stuff, the better you get at it. But just figuring out which parts to use and having the confidence to pull things away, etc., intense. Also, really hard to film, I'm realizing. I definitely need help filming these kind of videos because firstly, all I'm doing is like huffing and puffing and reaching weird angles, but then remembering to make sure the camera's capturing it and then I'm pouring with sweat. It's just, just hard to film. So I hope you guys are in, enjoying this. But yeah, I'm gonna tuck into my rather healthy looking salad. I, I've got a chocolate chip cookie in my pocket and then we'll move on to to fitting the final bits. I said I thought I've done the hardest parts, but these brackets for the sort of the brace, the pole there, need to go back behind this trim where, where those brackets were. They were a bugger to get out. These are gonna be even harder to put in. But then once they're in, you've then gotta get this pole uh, across the back, you know, screwed in to the thread. So I feel like this one's gonna be a little bit yeah, I think I'm going to bleed some more, aren't I? Okay. Just like that, it's done. The rear seats of my bath have been removed and the Biposto kit installed. It's taken around three hours, I think, but it's actually been a pretty easy job. I know that I've made it look hard at quite a lot of different stages, but that's due to my own experience, and I'm sure lots of you are laughing me and mocking me because of it, but it felt great to actually get my hands on the car and do this myself and, and finally get Project Biposto rolling because as I mentioned at the beginning this car has been sitting around unloved for so long but now I feel like I've given it some attention I'm gonna get out and drive it and use it okay a, a small relatively small mainly cosmetic change but it has helped reduce weight of this car removing the back seats and the seat belts and all those different elements just a kind of quick recap for any of you who are also looking to do something similar as I say it's MS Racing who do the Biposto kit I hope you guys have enjoyed this video look it's tough at the minute with all the restrictions in place with lockdown here in the UK at the moment not many places I can go not much I can do uh, but I'm trying to make uh, interesting and intriguing content and trying to get this ball rolling in terms of this car project Biposto as soon as I can 
of course, we'll be tackling the other big areas. Suspension, performance, visuals, etc. Anything else I think I can do myself, I'll give it a go. But anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you stay subscribed for plenty more videos to come.